Hello to everyone, my name is Sergey Nail3D.com and today I would like to show some interesting tip about the virtual character and character in real time and uh, technique uh, which I called uh, double skeleton. Okay, let's go. Here is my scene. I put a focus on motion builder application and you can see that it's just a simple idle, idle animation in real time on a character. So for doing this I put some animation trigger group which is actually active. Here is the skeleton assigned to, to this group and a simple branch of uh, motion clips uh, where I can switch between different poses and different idle variants. Um, but the common thing that I would like to show you is the double skeleton technique. So if we take a look in my schematic view, we can see that here is the skeleton which controls directly the uh, girl meshes. But there is another one, a duplication of the previous. It's the uh, with the namespace chart 2. It's the skeleton for which I have created a speech group and assigned some several uh, speech motion clips. So what I'm thinking about that when I when I speak something when I, when there is a speech for a character, it's look really very very uncompleted uh, when it's just only only the face which is moving in some emotions. Uh, it's not the all the body. So I I was um, recorded some. Uh, motion capture files of the hand movement, uh, small body movement like this and uh, I was thinking how I can add these gesticulations. So that for this I have graded constraint, relation constraint. Okay and I put for, for this example I put uh, space key trigger, damping value and interpolation between the first skeleton and the second one. So it's it's an example of one branch of uh, items. There are items for all other bones, but let's see on the head bone, yeah? It's like a damping, then interpolation between the first and the second skeleton according to the trigger. And right in the result in the skeleton, which is directly connected and affecting the uh, the girl meshes. So now we have press space button. You can see that the girl starts speaking with all her body. What happened here on the animation trigger? When I press space button, it switch into the controlling uh, character by the chart two namespace skeleton. When when I hold off this button, yes, when I uh, take off my finger. Uh, it's returned back to controlling by the idle group. So it's a very nice technique and it helps to to have more realistic, more natural movement in real, in real time. So I hope it will help you. See you on Nail3D.com. Bye.